Hello, today using vectors, I will prove that the altitudes of a triangle are concurrent. The concurrency point, the intersection of the altitudes of a triangle, this is called the orthocenter. So the orthocenter is the intersection of the altitudes of a triangle. So what we're going to prove is that if I draw this altitude from A, this altitude from B, and this altitude from C. So they meet at right angles to the opposite side. They will all be concurrent at a point called H. That's what we will try to prove using vectors. Okay, so what we will do is first draw two of the altitudes. So we will draw the altitude AD. And next we will draw the altitude BE. And we'll make the two of these altitudes intersect at H. Now, in order to prove that all the all three of the altitudes are concurrent, what we could do is draw the line CH and intersect it with AB. Now, if we prove CH is perpendicular to AB, it means that CH is an altitude and we've proven that all the altitudes are concurrent. So what we are trying to prove is if CH intersects AB at F, we will try to prove, prove CF is perpendicular to AB. Okay. So the first thing we have is that AH, is perpendicular to BC. So this is, so line AH extends to D and AD is perpendicular to BC. So that's why AH is perpendicular to BC. Using AH perpendicular to BC, if we use vector terminology, this is the same as saying the dot product of the vector AH so dot product of the vector AH and BC is equal to zero. So this is how we convert the problem into vectors. Okay, so now we can write the position vectors of A, B, C, and H. So let little a be the position vector of A and little b to represent B and little c to represent c and little h to represent h. Okay. So using our notation, the vector a h is the same as the position vector h minus the position vector a. And we're doing dot product with the vector b c. And this is the same as the position vector c minus the position vector b. Okay, now we can expand all this dot product out and we get h times c minus h times b minus a times c plus a times b is equal to zero. The second thing we have we also have BH perpendicular to CA. Okay, so BH is perpendicular to CA. Actually, I'll rewrite it instead of CA, I'll write AC, although it's the same thing now use AC. Okay, so BH is perpendicular to AC, which means we can use the dot product again, and we have BH dot product with AC is equal to zero. And using position vectors, we have H minus B dot product with C minus A is equal to zero. 
And again, if we expand it all out like over, over here, we have H times C minus H and A minus B dot C plus B dot A equals zero. So we have, now have two equations. So I'll write this equation as one and this equation as two. Okay, what we can see is in equation one and two, we have some terms in common to both equations. So H times C appears in both equations. And also the A, a dot B is the same as B dot A because the dot product is commutative. Now, what happens if we try to subtract equations one and two? So if we do one minus two, what do we get? What we can see is we have cancellations over here with the HC and cancellations over here with the A dot B and the B dot A. So what we will have is minus H dot B minus A dot C, plus h dot a plus b dot c is equal to zero. Okay. Now what we can do is group together some of uh, the common terms with common factors. So we can see h dot b and h dot a appear here and we can group these two terms like this, h dot a, we have a minus b dotted with h. And we also have a, a dot c and b dot c, which we can group as plus c. See, I will write minus c instead, minus c dotted with a minus b is equal to zero. And again, we have A minus B common here. So we can factorize as H minus C dot A minus B is equal to zero. So now I should be H minus C. Okay, now H minus C. H minus C is the same as the vector CH. And A minus B is the same as the vector B A. And since the dot product of C H and B A is equal to zero, it follows that C H is perpendicular to B A. So since C H is, so this line C H is over here and line BA is over here. Since CH is perpendicular to BA, we have a right angle over here. This is what we wanted to prove. We've successfully proven CF is perpendicular to AB. Okay, so now we've finally proven the altitudes AD B, E, and C, F are all concurrent. And this concurrency point is called the orthocenter. And this is a proof using vectors. We can also prove the concurrency of the altitudes using Euclidean geometry as well. Okay, so that's it for this proof. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.